All right, let's go over synthesizers. So here we have massive synthesizer and we have our envelope here. So we can kind of change this with the mouse and going to bring the attack over and the level and change that to K and different levels and time and then uh, <clears throat> you release over here okay and I uh, go if I can get that there great so now let's apply that to uh, to it so this kind of differs from the oscillator in the video or the how things are modulated because you drag each one of these to a different thing and then you can have it m modulate like the wavetable position that way so just do like a poly saw so you can kind of hear that we're going through and let's bring that release level up and let's apply it to the amplifier now on the back end So that's kind of cool to put that delay in there. Uh, let's look at this. Let's go to something like this. Uh, I have no idea what any of these are. And uh, let's put the amplifier on it. And so you have uh, three different kinds of envelopes that you can apply to each one of these situations. Let's put an LFO on this amplitude here. And let's speed that up. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so I'm kind of getting this, uh, I kind of want to have something that's like, I think I want like a saw. Just a regular saw. Where's the saw? Let's do like a poly saw. And the reason I wanted a saw is because I felt like I had this uh, this envelope, the way it's modulating this top one. I wanted. I wanted something to give it more of a full-bodied character. And, uh, yeah. So we applied the LFO onto that amplifier. Uh, we could try it on this one, too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a very big fan of that. Oh, let's, not, let's not do that. How do we get rid of this? There. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay, and we can add some noise down here if we want. Those are kind of your basic. You've got your filter here that you can choose. Uh, let's try a low pass. I think 
notch would actually be kind of cool here. Like a comb notch. Some feedback. Yeah. I like that. That's got a nice full-bodied sound to it. So anyway, that's kind of a kind of some kind of your basic overview of of that. And then this this one's kind of cool. So if we're going to apply it like this to actually this amplifier to make it bigger. And we'll speed that up. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, not very much action when applied to an amplifier, but if you apply this to something like this and do something like that. Oh yeah, okay, and then you can drag this here, come on, yeah, and then you get that subtle, if you do extend any notes, you get those subtle variations in the background on that, on that first oscillator's, uh, ooh, listen to that. Might be a bit too much, though. Yeah, it's a bit much. That's kind of cool. All, all in all, though, I think I like the first one the most. It doesn't really detract from the sound too much. So now you've kind of built, uh, well at least I, I built, uh, and how you could build by playing around with these different parameters, kind of a cool, a cool sound. And so that's kind of a, a basis of, I think, sound design, is understanding how to manipulate these different oscillators and the envelopes, and where to put them and where to drag them, what kind of filters work to filter out this sound. Uh, this filter is not even being used, so you can just turn that off. Um, Anything that you're not using, just turn it off. I don't know why all these are on. Uh, the amp should probably stay on. Save that CPU power. Not that the massive takes that much CPU power anyway. Yeah, okay, so I like that. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll save that and use it in something at some point in time.